going to do a leg day routine, lower body overall. We're going to do some goblet squats to start. Assuming we're already done our warming up, we're going to get up on this BOSU and do some goblet squats. Here we go, ready, set. And we're beefing and we're squatting. So, we're going to come down pretty low, if you can. Exhale down. And inhale up. And inhale, try to come in through the nose, down into the low belly, and exhale out the mouth. We're going to really flex ourselves low, as low as you can. Maybe you just go to here. And maybe that BOSU is a little too wobbly. You find that's true, kick that BOSU off to the side, come up from just the floor. Squats are a good idea to do. Keep your whole body fit because the leaner and stronger your legs are, the rest of your body responds in kind to being leaner and stronger. You increase your positive blood pressure and healthy circulation too. Okay, that's the end of that. Single leg deadlift. I call it a thirsty bird. You can take a sandbag or some other freeway. We're going to use our kettlebell here. We're going to kick a leg back. Go horizontal with the leaning body and come back up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Flex your body as you pull yourself down and pull back up again. So don't just fall down and try to struggle back up. Pull down and flex back up. Feel your balance. Here's another one that's real good to do if you can with bare feet but real flat shoes because you're going to find you have a little better spine alignment <coughs> in that case. Good hip and spine alignment with bare feet or real flat shoes. But your customary running shoes will work okay. Inhale up, exhale down, and we're done with that little set. We're going to pull out that bosu now for a little bit of calf raise action to give us increased range of motion. And put your toes up on the bosu. Let's go one at a time. For one up, and one we're just flexing up and down. On that leg that you're working, keep the knee very slightly bent, right? Keep the chest tall and breathe, breathe, breathe. We're about to switch legs here. We're going to switch legs halfway through this set. And there's the switch. Pull it up. Pull yourself up and drop down slow with control. Yeah. This will challenge the balance. The more you challenge the stability of your body, within reason, the more neurocommunication occurs, and typically the more fat loss. If you always do only what you're good at, very little chance of progressing, getting stronger, getting leaner. Moving right along. We're going back to that cross behind lunge. Clear your workspace. Grab up your weight. Get a deep breath. Get your mind right. Clear that mental chatter and go. Don't worry about the next rep or the next 20. Keep your mind right here, right now. The breath you're breathing and the rep you're on. And just wait for that beat. Just patiently wait and push through. Feel your body. Feel your breath. Stay present. And you're going to go a lot farther in your workout. And your body will respond much better to your exercise efforts every time. But like everything else, you have to practice it. Don't expect magical results the very first time you ever try it. You have to stay with it. Four, three, two, there we go. Okay, standing leg raises. I'm gonna show a couple variations. You don't need any weight for this, just your leg. Okay, I'm gonna pulse up like this, right? And you touch out on the hand, or you can swing up and add the progression to it. If this is too easy for you, okay, good deal. Add an ankle weight, and that's going to progress you real fast. Switch legs, switch through. What we did there, we just switched sides halfway through one set. If that's too easy, progress it by going a full set for each leg, full 45 seconds or more each leg. And you'll be sure to get plenty of work out of that. Keeping your lower abs strong here. And your iliopsoas, which your tighter your lower abs, the top of your leg. Okay? Good. What's next? Wall sit. Wall sit, you're going to need a wall. Or, you can do it 
sitting and squatting right down in a horse stance in the floor. I recommend doing this with some weight. Make things a little bit tougher for you. And you just stay right in here and you camp out and get comfortable. Your mind's gonna mess with you after a little bit and say, stand up, this hurts, I wanna stop. And I don't listen to that. It's not the boss of you. You push through those kind of signals. I breathe in deep, focus your mind, feel the presence inside your body, feel your breath, and push past those little signals and those little voices. Every time those distractions and mind chatter comes up, not just working out, but everywhere, every day. Breathe in, feel your breath, hear your breath, feel the inside of your body, and pay attention to that instead. It gets you a lot farther. Rest. Right. So we're going to do a hip bridge now. There's a couple ways we might do this, but you do want to grab a little bit of equipment here. Something, some kind of a cushion under your shoulders, perhaps. Some kind of weight to put across your hips. And in this case, I'm going to use a bosun to put my hips up. Here we go. I'm going to step up on this bosun, then push up, then come down. So rotate my ankle. So having something to put your feet up on, or something to put your back up on, increases your angle of approach, and that's going to increase the workload and the result. The training effect will be much better if you're up a little bit. But you don't have to. You can progress it from the floor and you can go no weight or very little weight and still get some effect. I'm pushing way up, exhaling down, inhaling up, and flexing from the glutes, pushing in the heels. I'm already done. We go. Flip. That was our last set on that hip bridge, on that list. So that's one, de one down, one round. You can go three or four rounds if you have time. And that will get you some really good results as far as strength gain, muscle tone, and, of course, some good weight loss if that's your goal.